in our CPCN, our Certificate of Public Convenience and Necessity, the July, 20, July 18, 2020 refers to our technical launch. Okay. So which means that we have to have the entire network set and government will audit us if we are reaching our commitment of 37% coverage in 27 Mbps. That is only a technical launch, that isn't a commercial launch. Per our CPCN, we are mandated to have a commercial launch by March of 2021. Mm -hmm. now, I think what we have to clarify is if we can launch before that and have a commercial launch, we would love to do it. Mm -hmm. But and here's, here's the important part. We want to have a really good network so we can provide the best service right. uh, that the customers deserve. Mm -hmm. So that will be the precondition to our launching whether it be March or before that. Uh, the pre-commercial testing, that's uh, when we have what's known as a friendly user test. Mm -hmm. So we will have people uh, trying out the network. Um, basically, again, because we want to have everything in place so that when we do launch, our customers won't get bad service. Mm -hmm. uh, because if we have bad service at the start, then that will be really bad for our business. Mm -hmm. so when we roll out commercially, that already is a bit near the July um, second uh, testing with government and we're supposed to have 50% of it. So our coverage will be wider, our MBPS speeds hopefully will be faster because by July of next year we're supposed to have 50 MBPS. Mm -hmm. um, and, and related to that, we want to launch when everything is, is ready, we want to have very good customer experience. Mm -hmm. So we need to have our distributors ready, we need to have uh, our complaint center ready, we have to have our tech team ready. Uh, and that's why, um, simply put, we want everything in place so when we launch, it is a commercial launch that is worthy uh, of our consumers. The issue on funding, we want to be very clear. We, The funding requirements that we have per the CPCN, which is, 257 billion, the funding is ready for that. Um, in fact, our first drawdown of $500 million from Bank of China, we've done that to address our needs for rollout now. The bond, we've already given that to government, the 25 billion uh, security bond. So the funding is there. Um, when we were required by the terms of reference to give 10 billion as equity, we put in 20 billion. All of these you can um, check with the SEC. So I think really the, the challenge for us is not so much the funding, but it's the rollout. Right? Mm -hmm. Setting up you know, the physical, setting up the towers, the base stations, the data centers, that's the challenge for us. You know, we may spend more. Um, it's, it's really hard to say, right? Uh, but we gave those numbers to the NPC when we did our bid because we believe that those numbers were what we needed for our rollout. Well, just two things. Number one, unlike uh, Globe and Smart, mm -hmm. we actually had to submit a cybersecurity plan for approval by the uh, NPC and BIC. And we, and we did that because we take uh, uh, security and cybersecurity very seriously. That's one, one element of the answer. The second element is we are a Filipino company. Um, we are 60% uh, Filipino uh, owned and 40% foreign owned. Under Filipino law, we are a Filipino company. And as a Filipino company, we're not going to allow uh, breaches in national and cybersecurity. You have our, our assurance. For that. I think it's, it's hard to say because um, it really depends on how well our business is doing. If our business is doing well, I'm sure the Filipino investors may want to invest. We might have more Filipino investors here. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see when that happens.